Hey there, if you're a front-end or back-end developer and you're looking for a great way to level up this year, I may have a great solution for you here. That's right, this red guy in spandex on the left could be you. I mean, look at him. That girl's totally checking him out, too. I've been working on a course called From Newbie to Ninja in Node.js, and I've been developing it for a while, and I'm ready to release it to you guys. It's going to be awesome. So for all you TLDR people, just visit store.learncode.academy. It's on sale there now, and it's 50% off these first three days. For all of my subscribers, I want to give you guys a great deal. This course is 30 videos. I've basically taken my five years of day-in, day-out experience coding Node.js, and I've determined what the core competencies of a Node.js developer are. Say that five times fast, core competencies of a Node.js developer. So by the time you're done with this course, you're going to have everything it takes to be a Node.js developer, not just know random bits and pieces about Node.js. So who is this video for? If you're going to purchase a course, you want to know it's for you. First and foremost, it's designed for people who are new to backend. If you've been doing front end your whole life, um, and backend is a little mysterious or terrifying and you're looking for the correct on-ramp, this is the ideal course for you. With each video, I made sure to stop and think, how would this feel if I was new to backend? What terminologies would be new? What things might be intimidating? And I want to make sure I explain them well for someone who's new to backend. If you're experienced in backend, you'll feel right at home along the way, and I won't dumb anything down. But for anyone that's new, it's going to be a really nice on-ramp into backend technologies and building backend applications. Second, it's going to be really good for people with PHP only backend experience. While PHP can mean a lot of things, if you've done mostly CMSs, working maybe with open source shopping carts and just hacking things around, and you can make backend work, but you don't really feel like a true backend engineer, this is going to be a really good course for you because the way Node.js runs as a constant running service puts it alongside of many, many other backend applications. Basically, if you learn Node.js, you're going to get the concepts of many other web technologies in a way you wouldn't get if you have PHP only backend experience. Also, if you're just new to Node.js, if you're a backend developer and you want to learn Node.js, this again will give you those core competencies in a really quick way. Really, the only thing you need to know is some JavaScript. You don't even have to be a JavaScript ninja. Um, and I'll put some links to some of my free playlists in the description below. You basically need to know the basics of JavaScript. Uh, maybe watch my JavaScript is weird and awesome course. Maybe know about modular JavaScript and promises and you'll be good to go. So what will you learn in this course? We're going to cover six main areas. We're going to cover the Node.js basics and all the things that took me a long time to discover about those basics along the way. Even some things that I just learned over the last year that have always been there. And then we're also going to learn Express.js, which is hands down the most popular web application framework for Node.js. We're going to learn all its ins and outs and how simple it is to put together a powerful application. Then we're going to move on to databases, connecting to MySQL, getting and setting data, and also how to manage those databases in a great production environment, like setting up database fixtures so your team can work completely offline with their own database on their machine, and handling your production database with migrations. Some great things which will be really good, especially if you're new to backend. Then we're going to move into authentication and authorization, that tricky piece of how do I do a username password login and know that it's secure? OAuth 2 login so you can log in with your Google ID or with your GitHub ID. Um, and then authorization and private data and making sure things stay secure. Then we're going to move into Redis so that way you can manage your sessions and caching. And Redis is just a really cool, uniquely usable database. And then we're also going to cover deployment, how you provision those production servers and get that application out to production. Basically, like I said, it's going to be everything it takes to get you rolling with Node.js. And for the next three days, it is 50% off. That's right, 50% off because I love me, my subscribers. You guys are awesome. Uh, you provide great encouragement to me to keep the channel going. And so I'm giving you guys 50% off just to say thank you to all those loyal subscribers who many of you have become good friends over the years. So three days only, three days only, three days only. And again, visit store.learncode.academy to purchase it. And don't forget, I also have Real World Docker, which is now O'Reilly's best-selling training video on Docker. Um, if you go to O'Reilly.com and search for Real World Docker, that course is still out there and people are really, really liking it. Thanks for listening. Have yourselves a great day.